At first glance, it simply looked like a heartwarming scene with countless people cheering the lone woman on the road as she came to what could be seen as the finish line. But if you knew about the story behind this, you'd probably be surprised to know that this woman was actually making history. Yes, you heard that right. Well, for the first time ever, a woman finished the Barkley Marathon, a 100 mile race with only two and a half days to finish. The woman in question is none other than Jasmine Paris, the 40 year old British ultra runner. The quiet, unassuming and modest mother of two unexpectedly shot to international sporting prominence in January 2019 when she became the first woman to take the outright win at the 268 mile spine race, a winter ultra running event down the mountainous backbone of England that is dubbed Britain's most brutal. Mind you, it was just 14 months after giving birth to her first baby. What's more, she also destroyed the previous overall course record by more than 12 hours. While that in itself is remarkable, you'd be even more surprised to know that she achieved that feat while having periodic stops along the way. What for? Well, as a breastfeeding mom, she had to pump milk at checkpoints along the way. Amazing, right? It was a story that was told and continues to be told by media all over the world. From the BBC to Good Morning America, ESPN, and even Vogue. But even before her rise to fame, so to speak, Jasmine had won the British Fell Running Championships twice. Once in 2015 and then again in 2018. She also took the victory in the 2016 Skyrunner World Series, placed second overall at the five-day Dragon's Back event in 2015, and in her first attempt at a 100-plus mile distance race, finished sixth woman at the 2016 Ultra Trail du Mont Blanc, or more famously known as UTMB. She also holds the women's record times for the UK's classic trio of big 24-hour mountain challenges. The Bob Grand Round, England, 15 hours 24 minutes, Paddy Buckley Round, Wales, 18 hours 33 minutes, and Ramsey Round, Scotland, 16 hours 13 minutes. That's not all. She had held the fastest overall time for the Ramsey Round until S. Treseder beat it in the summer of 2019 by a mere minute. In the true spirit of the sport, Jasmine ran as one of the Pacers supporting S. in his record run. Her love for the mountains is not at all surprising, given that she explored mountains from an early age and began serious running in 2008 after leaving Liverpool University. While she was working in Glossop as a newly qualified vet, a colleague suggested for her to enter a local fell race. She did and was instantly hooked. Yes, you heard it right. Dr. Paris is a small animal vet who lives near Edinburgh with her husband and two young children. Currently working on a PhD, she found a way to maintain a training work balance in three ways. First, don't train as hard as many people think. Second, be flexible. And third, no television. Well, as they say, each to their own. Whatever floats your boat, right? Obviously, certain things work for her. Having no set training plan is one of them. Most days she runs for 10 minutes to the hills and takes it from there. On weekdays, she tends to go out for 60 to 90 minutes each day, where she sometimes cycles to work and swims a few times a week as well. On weekdays, she typically does a couple of longer runs or mountain days with Conrad, her husband, and then does a weekly hill rep session. All of this finally paid off when she made history a few weeks ago, where... She finished the 100 plus mile race in Frozen Head State Park with just 90 seconds to spare before that 60 hour cutoff time. Let's talk about the Barclay Marathons so you can better understand the amazing feat Jasmine just achieved. The grueling 60 hour race isn't like any other event you might have heard of. It was said that once you manage to work out how to apply and pay your $1.60 entry fee, you have to write an essay to explain why you should be allowed to run it. Once at the start line over in Frozen Head State Park in Tennessee, the start time of the race can be anywhere from midnight to noon on race day with the blowing of a conch signifying one hour until the race starts. Race director Gary Lazarus Lake Cantrell then sets the assembled runners off by lighting a cigarette. The route of the race changes from year to year, but is fundamentally five loops of an approximately 20 mile course. 
most of which is on very rough terrain through dense woodland, thick briars, steep rocky outcrops, and with a huge amount of ascent and descent. There are no aid stations, just a couple of water stops. Runners must collect the pages from books hidden around the course that correspond with their race number and hand these in at the end of each loop. A crude map serves as the only reference for those checkpoints, and the race involves off-trail trekking. Now Needless to say, for anyone to start, let alone finish this event, is an unbelievable achievement. The grueling nature of the race cannot be overstated enough. Everything about it is designed to be brutal. Laz has been asked many times over the years if a woman could complete the race and he has often been quoted as saying he didn't think women were strong enough. Whether he meant it or was just trying to provoke a reaction was never certain, but it has taken until 2024 for a woman to prove him wrong. And that was, as you know, British runner Jasmine Paris. Why is this newsworthy, you may ask? Well, just so you know, more than 1,000 ultra marathoners have attempted the Barkley Marathons in Frozen Head State Park in Tennessee since 1989, but only 20 have ever finished the 100-mile course, which includes about 16,500 meters of elevation, the equivalent of climbing Everest twice within the 60-hour time limit. And then on March 22nd, the 40-year-old senior veterinary lecturer at the University of Edinburgh sprinted across the line after 59 hours, 58 minutes, and 21 seconds, 99 seconds inside the cutoff, before collapsing in a heap. The final minutes were so intense. After all that effort, it came down to a sprint uphill, with every fiber of my body screaming at me to stop, Paris said in an email. Her legs were covered in cuts and scratches by the time she reached the end of the race, which was the subject of a 2014 documentary, The Race That Eats Its Young. I didn't even know I'd made it when I touched the gate, she added. I just gave it everything to get there and then collapsed, gasping for air. In an exclusive interview, she explained how she beat the 100-mile course. I was so close to passing out, she shared as she relived the moment she became the first woman to complete the race widely seen as the most devilish, daunting, and toughest of them all. I felt I was going to reach the finishing gate or collapse right in front of it. There was a tunnel of roars on either side, but I couldn't focus. It was all a bit blurry. Fewer than two dozen people have ever successfully completed the marathons since that event started back in the 1980s. In addition to being the first woman to finish the marathon, Jasmine Paris is one of only 20 people to have finished the Barclay Marathons in Tennessee, USA, since it was extended to 100 miles in 1989. While she slumped to the ground as she crossed the finish line and said she felt overwhelming relief that it was finally over, she said completing such a challenge was mind-opening and inspires you with confidence for your whole life. It did for me, and I'm super happy that I achieved what I set out to do after the three years of trying, Jasmine explained. Yes, she ran the marathon three times. Last year, she made history as the first woman to complete loop four, but she missed that cutoff time, so she came back this year. Overall, where I don't really know whether I'm capable of doing it. They just kind of make, I just find it more exciting. They give me a kind of thrill. She also noted that. Just not have the confidence and the idea that I might have inspired them to believe in themselves and have a go. That's huge, yes. Yeah. Speaking of history-making runners, check this out. 